inspired by the oldest public hospital in America, New Amsterdam is a unique drama that follows true to life stories chronicled from Bellevue Hospital in New York City. It follows Dr. Max Goodwin and his team as they look to make a difference in medical care in the largest city in America. The twists and turns, highs and lows are all met with humor, often provided by Dr. Iggy Fromm, played by Tyler Labine. Take a look because studies show that education vastly reduces recidivism among inmate populations. We have classrooms, we have inmates. Why are we not helping? Very good idea, put it together. Good, because I already have. Hey, we're not done with the pre-adolescent process group. Whoa. Where do I put the kids? You can't have kids in here with these guys. Uh, not the kids. Hey, 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 what's guys. the plan? Uh, got kids, my kids, hi right, guys, come on out. Everybody down to the end of the hall. Just Roland, push it. Oh, no, no, no need. Yes. No. Let's go. Let's step boss, guys, my kids. No. Everyone's food down. Let me look at the new adults. <laughs> Joining us now in studio is Tyler <clears throat> Bean. Thank Hi. you so much for being here. My pleasure. So you know that I'm a huge fan of your show. Comes I do on. now. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. do. Now it comes on after This Is Us, and it's like the perfect way to end your Tuesday evening. But Yeah, in a sobbing, wet mess. It's kind of awesome. The box of Kleenex around it, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. But New Amsterdam is a little different than most, <clears throat> most shows because it's based on something that actually happened. Yeah. So how much of that comes into play in your episodes? Um, a lot, a lot, more than people would imagine, actually. Uh, Dr. Eric Mannheimer, who is uh, the character Max Goodwin is based on, who was the actual medical director of Bellevue, is a consultant and producer on the show, wow. and provided our writing room with thousands, thousands of true life stories. And everything, all of the uh, medical cases that we deal with, they're all based in reality. Wow. And also, even if it's not directly something that uh, Dr. Eric Mannheimer de dealt with, it's uh, it's thoroughly researched, and we have doctors that write on the staff, and it's all very the due totally diligence real. has been done. Yeah, due diligence, <laughs> it, and everything is super, re and it feels real mm -hmm. as you're watching it. Yeah. But now, your character often provides humor sure. in these tense situations in the hospital. Tell us about Dr. Fromm. He just seems like this lovable friend that you kind of wish is your neighbor at the same time. Well, you know, it's funny when they first pitched me the idea of Dr. From, uh, I really wanted him to sort of, I wanted to embody a walking hug, is what we said. I wanted, so I wanted a lot of textures with his costume. I wanted a lot of fleeces. I wanted a lot of uh, of uh, corduroy cotton. And uh, sorry, I thought, sorry, I thought you were saying something. Never mind. Okay, so and and, uh, and uh, I wanted him to sort of feel like like a like a comforting presence on the show. And then I think the humor just kind of naturally folded in. And as we started uh, uh, playing with the character more, I found sort of a lot of places where I could actually ad lib in the show. And then the writers, who are so good at the job, started to actually lean into that and write more sort of humor for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's great because I also get the, uh, the counterbalance of having really, really heavy moments, which I think in life you kind of need both. It's the yin and yang, you know? You have to find the humor in it. Otherwise, it'll just be a downwards. Exactly. Dr. Iggy definitely offers that. But he has a lot of layers, too. He's yeah, actually accustomed to. I actually have a quite a, a resume that consists mostly of being like in gross out comedies and <laughs> being the schlubby sidekick, you know, stoner buddy. So this has been a neat progression for me. Uh, I am a father. I have three kids myself. Okay. I have three young kids and been married for 13 years. And I congrats. Thank That's you. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, so I can relate to Iggy on a lot, uh, actually a lot more levels than playing a lot of these kind of uh, mm. stoner. Sidekick. Guy. Yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. yeah. I'm nobody's sidekick. Not in my You're nobody's life. sidekick no. here. You are definitely like a main character and everyone loves you. <clears throat> Thank but, you. So, what are we going to see moving forward in season two as Dr. Goodwin continues on his mission? Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's a very textured, layered show. Um, it's going to be a slow burn. It's grieving, a lot of grieving, uh, but it's also a lot of healing. And I think the the impact that this tragedy had on the entire cast, uh, you're going to see the ripples that that how it affected everybody from you know Bloom to Sharp, especially mm. uh, Sharp and Max's relationship, and. Uh, I mean, even in the, the, the premiere episode this season, you could see that everybody was kind of coping in their own way. Uh, Iggy is keeping himself busy. He wants to have another baby, a Yay. fifth baby. Wow. I mean, you know, a Band-Aid baby, oh let's boy. maybe call that. So it's, I think everyone deals with uh, grief and copes in their own ways. And the show this season is going to be predominantly about that. Well, thank you so much for being here. My and we pleasure. love watching you as Dr. Iggy. We appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys.